Uh, let's bring Andy straight in here. Andy, good afternoon. Great to talk to you again. Hello, Fitz. Lover, how are you? Not too bad at all. Um, you good. know, when it comes, and I've seen the Wurzels on, on numerous occasions, and I just remember Adge and his, his recordings. Do you think he did the West Country justice fair? Well, I, I, I think he's a legend, and, you know, the Wurzels have been really successful, and they're fantastic. Pete and Tommy are, are still out there doing it nearly in their 80s, I believe. Yeah. But without one man who started the whole idea, who went into local pubs and thought, why is everyone singing about I belong to Glasgow, and maybe it's because I'm a Londoner, when they're from Somerset or Devon or, or wherever. So he, he thought it's about time we had our own songs, and his yokel culture took off and um, th there's a whole story behind it how he was penniless and, and went to this um pop producers or managers office and said i've got a fiver but i've got these songs and i want to put a group together and the bloke said and john miles that was let's do it and it all took off and because because of the guy was a pop manager he had contacts in the record industry so within the first year of taking on Adge Cutler he had him and his Wurzels at Abbey Road Studios where the Beatles had recorded to, yeah I know to do uh, some test music and they all turned up <laughs> in their Wurzel gear this is John Miles idea chucking hay bales out the back and everyone thought what the hell's happening and the the boss guy of EMI saw this and said I want to listen to that tape and at the end they made the tape and he said i love it but it's got to be done locally so they did it in nelsey where adge was born a live gig above the royal oak that holds 80 people in the function room there was 300 people there plus technicians and live at the royal oak became a classic drink up thy cider twice daily all them songs recorded live and you couldn't move in there yeah, I, well, I remember, I remember the 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 statue being placed there. It's um, still outside That's the Royal right. Oak, isn't it? Yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. And the other thing is, with with this show, I'm doing this tribute show called "Don't Tell I Tell E Fit." Mm. Everyone can sing Adge Cutler and the Wurzel songs, yet yeah, they can yeah. do that. They can tell the story of Adge Cutler, what happened, his tragic death, everything. And all that's going to be in there. But the twist I've put to it is that when Adge Cutler became successful, there were people that really took to him, and he, he pretty particularly influenced my life as an 11-year-old boy, um... Hill School comes up again. I would uh, go to Hill School in Exeter. I listened to these songs yeah. round my grand, and I thought, oh, they're so funny. Uh, do you recall, because you're a bit younger than me, lover, do you recall Jasper Carrot having a song out called The Funky Moped? Oh, yes, unplayable, and but on yes. The B, yes, on the B-side was Magic Roundabout. Yeah. Now, that was the unplayable one. Well, Drink Up the Cider came out when I was a young lad, and on the B-side of Drink Up the Cider was a song called Twice Daily, which was cheeky. And that's what got me into Adge Cutler, because I love me carry-on films, you know, a, yeah. a young lad in the in the 60s. And that's what made me feel, oh, I'd love to do some of that. My uncle bought me a banjo. My mum and dad paid for banjo lessons. By the age of 12, I was singing Adge Cutler songs around the pubs and clubs of Exeter. Well, good luck to him. Good luck to you. I never, ne never mind the Bullocks. Here's the Wurzels. That was an album I seem to remember of. Yeah, I've they did that. I think that was, they took the mickey out of the, um, what were they called? The Sex Pistols. Group. Yeah. Yeah, so mm. they, they took the mickey out of that. But the, the other thing, and I want, uh, this show is going to be done like an Hatch Cutler concert, so it's going to be it's going to be up, there'll be story, there'll be jokes in between the songs, there'll be a real West Country party. But we are ov obviously have to talk about the time when Adge passed away and the words was carried on, so that bit's covered. But the, the thing for me, and, and in retrospect, I realise it meant a lot more than I thought it did. When Adge Cutler passed away on the morning of the 5th of May, 1974, the night before he was playing in a club in Hereford, and his support act was Aidan J. Harvey, yes. who was an impressionist from the telly. And the night after, so the night that Adge died, he was playing in Exeter at Clifton Labour Club. And the group there were the Vic Palmer Sound, and their lead singer was a 17-year-old lad called me.
And mm. he came in and told us that he was with Ange last night and he'd passed away in this car crash. And I was devastated because I loved him. And we sang a couple of Ange Cutler songs that night. So wind the clock forward. I've already played Ange in a musical and now I'm taking the tour of Ange. So all these connections suddenly become more important. You know, I, I'm just looking at some of the album covers here and some of the memories. If you do see Tommy Banner, please give him my very best. I haven't seen him for ages. I haven't seen Tommy or Pete for a while, but they're lovely boys. I used to work with them a lot uh, when I did Jethro's Club. I played there a fair bit. Yeah. And we used to get on great. And they're still doing it. And this this isn't, isn't a replacement Wurzel show. Right. This is going back to the roots of Adge. So if you love the Wurzels, go and see them. They're out there. They're brilliant. But if you want to know that the history of scrumpy and Western music and the story of Adge Cutler and how he affected West Country, how it affected me growing up, I've never been the same since, lover, yeah. then come and see the show because it's all in there and it's going to be a hoot. Fantastic. Actually, and we're in Exeter. Where, yeah, where? We're in Exeter. We're at the Barnfield Theatre in Exeter on Friday the 27th of September. So I'm going all around the West Country. There's a lot, obviously, in, in Bristol and Somerset, which is where Adge is from. But I wanted to bring it home. So I'm bringing it to my hometown, Exeter Barnfield Theatre, 27th of September. That's a Friday night. So do come and see us. You can get tickets from the theatre website or andyfordcomedian.com. But come and have a good old night out. Fantastic. You've brought back some great memories. Aiden J. Harvey, last time I heard, he'd, he'd moved to Spain, I think. Uh... Yeah, he was living in Mallorca because I was, years ago, I used to do cabaret out there. And I actually went to his club one night and we had a good old chat and a drink. And he, he's, he's, he was still doing it. That was about 15 years ago. So I'm, I'm not sure if he's still doing it now, but good impressions. A good guy. Are you We've in... got an impressionist on our show, actually. Who have you got? Well, Viv Scrumpy is a guy I used to work with. That's not his real name. He used to work with years ago. So as well as playing the sousaphone, he'll be doing some of his impressions from that era, from the 70s, you know, Frank Spencer and Brucey and all that lot. So it it's a bit of a retro night. So if you want a history lesson of what it was like in the 60s and 70s when Adge took over, mm. that's what the show's all about. Okay. Oh, it's not too early to ask, but are you in Panto again this year? Yes, I am. I mean, the last two years I've been in Plymouth and hopefully yeah. some of my lovely friends will come to Exeter to see the show. Uh, they've got lovely Brian Connolly this year and Bristol, where I've been for seven years before that. They've got Shane Ritchie. I'm with my friend Steve McFadden, Phil Mitchell, and we're in ah. Dartford this year. So I'm, I'm actually out the area this year. So I'll miss you all, but hopefully back next year. Andy, you're a star. Thank you for joining us. Let's hear what Mate, you've done. thanks for chatting. Thank oh. you. This is my tribute. Here's to you, Ant! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cobbler, for bringing out the West Country in me. Thank you, Mr. 